A crew-based medic, Dr. Magare Gikenyi, has once again moved to court challenging the implementation of the affordable housing project hours after the bill was signed into law by President William Ruto. This comes as the hearing against the Social Health Fund bill kicked off at the Mulimani Law Courts. With that is Ruth Saramwe. A week after the affordable housing bill was approved by members of parliament, the Kenya Kwanza Pet Project is facing another legal hurdle after Dr. Magare Gikenye, an Akuru-based surgeon, and four other Kenyans filed a petition at the Milimani High Court seeking to stop its implementation just hours after the bill was signed into law by President William Ruto. The petitioners argue that the act is illegal and unconstitutional because it gives the national government powers to take over the housing function, which is a responsibility of the counties. The five also claim that the fund has been established with faulty legal frameworks for implementation. They say that contributors are not guaranteed to benefit from the fund, subjecting them to cruel, inhumane and degrading treatment. Similarly, the hearing of a case against the Social Health Insurance Act, Digital Health Act, Primary Health Care Act and Facility Improvement Financing Act kicked off today at the Milimani Law Courts. Enoch Aura, through his lawyer Harrison Kinyanjui, told the three-judge bench that the act was passed into law without public participation. Aura challenged the move to deny health care access to Kenyans not registered under the scheme. Fred Ngatia, representing Health CS Susan Nakumicha on his part, indicated that a voluntary medical scheme is not sustainable. Elsewhere at the Kibera Law Courts, a man has been charged with two counts for allegedly extorting a governor from Western Region hundreds of millions of shillings after detectives laid a trap for the suspect, William Simeo. The suspect was freed on a two million shillings bond and a surety of the same amount. As my client has, to, uh, has informed, uh, the statements are available that these people are extorting him for money, millions of money, because there's something they want from him. Ruth Sarmoy, NTV.